Wow. Wow. Yeah. Please, that's... I'll tell you what, Dave. Holy cow, that, uh... You do not want to be the guy having to follow that guy. No, 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 because you know what? Did you see that rousing round of applause oh, again? Oh, yeah, it was amazing. We have to think of something equally as big for this next presenter, because this guy has got, you know, he's got some shoes to fill. Well, did they give you a bio or anything on the guy? I, you know, actually, I do. I have a bio, really wonderful. He's done I, a lot of amazing I have an idea. All right. Uh, you read the bio as okay. dramatically as you can. I'm going to go out in the audience. Okay. And when, when I'm so moved by this man's credential, I will stand up and I will start the slow 1980s sports movie clap. Like from Hoosiers, when exactly. they did it Hoosiers. And it will start to build, and by the time you finish the bio, this place will be erupting for this next man. So All right, here we go. go. Right, go ahead, me, Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead. this next see. gentleman is one of the pillars of the McAfee partner community, an accomplished technology business leader. He is the founder, and not only the founder, the president of Aurora. Wow. A California-based security and compliance consulting firm where he oversees sales, and not only sales, Strategic business development. This cannot be. He is also the founder of SecurePath. Oh my goodness. A data encryption and security compliance software company. He has served as the chairman of the Torrance Airy Chamber of Commerce and was a participant of the Pepperdine University Management School Partners Council. Please give it up for Philip DeSouza! Up top! Up top! Double Daves, thank you very much for that introduction. Senor Quintero, thank you very much for the, the invitation today. Uh, good afternoon, buenas tardes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to thank everyone for having me here and the VAR board, most importantly, for allowing me to represent. Now, after that great introduction, before I start sounding like a presidential debate candidate, I've got to tell you it's not much fun being up here. It's about you know, an hour and a half since you've had your lunch, so you're digesting that nicely. All the replies from those emails that you've sent out this morning are starting to come in. My job, keep you awake, keep you focused, and give you some knowledge. OK, so that's going to be a tough one. Let me find my, uh, my clicker here. And this next busy slide is not going to help me with this direction, but let's try. So um, at least a couple of times a year, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the top of the mountain. We come here for a 30,000 foot view, a 360 degree perspective of three things. One, what are the, the trends and direction of the industry we're in? Secondly, opportunities for us for growing our businesses. And third, last but not least, you know, we're looking around, we're comparing. How do we compare with our peers, with other VARs? You know, are we truly that best in class? And you know, so, so let's talk a little bit more about direction and trends, right? The big ones, cloud computing, mobility, and big data. You've heard that time and time again. Couple that with delivery mechanisms like SaaS and BYOD, that's bring your own device. And let's add a third dimension to this whole thing, and let's talk about control, compliance, and governance. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all in business. It's a great time to be a McAfee solution provider, and it's a great time now to look at these things and, and to find some direction. So the opportunity that I have on behalf of the VAR board is to present and to give you five mantras as key takeaways if I can keep you through this entire presentation. So what do we know so far? And we've heard this very often. We know that cloud computing peaks at about 10% of all IT spending in 2013. Investments in mobility, device management, uh, data analytics going to take off. Yesterday, if you were at the keynote speech, you heard about big data and McAfee's own use case of big data in GTI. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that made news earlier this year, uh, so rather this month, was uh, our own uh, you know, Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, talking about the impending cyber Pearl Harbor. Put all these trends together, and it's likely that IT security spending is going to increase commensurate with what's happening. 
And while wrapping a business offering around security solutions is not very difficult, success and growth through delivery of value is what takes effort. So let's try and summarize all this and give you these takeaways that I talked about. Planning and goal setting. You're going to see a few pictures. This way I keep you awake and I get to talk. So a great line that I heard um, a few months ago is that goals are like dreams with deadlines. And I thought that was pretty gay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quarter four of 2012. By now, within your organizations, you should be talking about revenues, you should be talking about profits, budgets, and compensation plans. Now, with goals, plans are equally important. How do we get to where we need to be from where we are today? Make sure that you have the right people on the bus. I'm going to talk about that in an upcoming slide. And above all, hold everyone accountable. So a quick story. The Daves are from Texas, and I've met at least a half a dozen people from Texas. So let me give you a little uh, goal-setting story right out of the heart of Texas. Um, much like you business owners and managers, there's this, this great Texan rancher with this massive ranch that you can only have in Texas. And he's got this extremely gorgeous daughter of marriageable age like you can only have in Texas. And the boys keep coming, okay, over the fence and through the front door and ringing the doorbell, uh, much like we, we all woo all our different vendors, right? Uh, and so he's like, look, you know what? I need to set some goals and I need to get her married. And so he gets her. In his backyard, he's got this, again, huge Texan pool, swimming pool, fills it up with live trashing alligators and the water is foaming white. And he lines up all these suitors and he says, look, the first one across gets the, my daughter's hand in marriage and a half a billion dollars. That's billion with a B. He hardly finishes. There's a splash in the water, and you know, water's foaming, tails, arms, legs, and out at the other end emerges this one guy, bleeding, ripped, hair, you know, clothes torn, gasping for breath, and the Texan rancher is very impressed. He's like, look, I hardly set the goal, and you were in there, and you achieved it. Wow, you're the man. So he's like, sir, the guy who just reached the finish line, pause for a minute. I need to just ask one question. Who was the idiot that pushed me? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, let's talk about selling. So do you remember the days of the white box? Uh, thousands of bars lining up to buy hundreds of thousands of parts from master distributors like Ingram and Maricel and Tech Data, creating the perfect custom machines for our clients. Remember those days? I'm probably dating myself. It's from the days of the Eagles and Billy Idol as well. Today, that entire business is reduced to one part number, ladies and gentlemen, one partner, part number either online or at your local big box electronic store, all for under $500. The point, commoditization is accelerating. The entry hurdles to selling just software and hardware are almost non-existence, and the value greatly diminishing. So a trend that we in the VAR board see is that Mar Mar McAfee partners are excelling in professional services. While these are definitely very high touch, very labor intensive, they're also highly profitable. Uh, the key to developing a credible bench um, is to make sure that they're qualified, you know, pitch for aces as well, to make sure that you guys are well trained, proper resource management, and the ability to scale the offering. At my company, Aurora, we found that we can step this up a little bit. Add to this mix uh, intellectual property, or your own proprietary offering, and we find that we are kings of our hill. Successful, successful solution providers today are parlaying their unique values and skill sets and experience. So ladies and gentlemen, here is a question that I want to ask you. When you go back to your workday and to your offices, what is your UCD? What makes you different? What is your unique core differentiator? Is that the right picture up there? OK. Um, so we, we have, you know, we've got our goals. We've also got our solutions to sell. It's a great bag of tricks. Now, how do we get this to market? How do we make sure that we've got 
the right people. The old adage that people are your greatest asset holds true. Employees and talent now, ladies and gentlemen, are portable. So that's the challenge we have. Uh, recruiting and retaining talent, we as, as a board see, see as being one of the key challenges in the year to come. The VAR board believes that McAfee partners should focus on mentoring, developing, and incentivizing your teams. So in a recent study of the key factors of retaining great talent, remuneration accounted for just 20% and also gone out of the window with that whole white box business that I talked about is the concept of working hard and punching the clock and making sure that you are there for eight hours at a time. Today, work environment, corporate culture, and flexibility are now the top three factors to retaining talent. Use that portability that we talked about, the portability of talent, to your advantage. While your headquarters might be on the East Coast, it is perfectly OK, ladies and gentlemen, to have your director of business development on the West Coast working out of his house. It is very important now to work not only hard, but smart. So a great buzzword that I heard was co-opetition. Cooperation with your competition. If you were here yesterday, um, you, you heard uh, McAfee's uh, CTO, Michael Fay, on, during his keynote, talk about the growing complexity of layered enterprise-level solutions. No single solution provider can fulfill all the technology requirements of their customers. So why not team up? When I talk about co-opetition, basically at Aurora, we have teamed up with our fellow VARs in successfully executing security offerings. And many of our board members similar to us are engaged in peer-level collaborative relationships. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Economics 101. Rather than trying the impossible, rather than trying to be a jack-of-all-trades, specialize, focus on your competitive advantage, and team up with your peers, with the VARs, to create synergies in areas that you're lacking. And yes, you do need to minimize risk, establish clear rules of operation, have NDAs and SOWs or statements of work to make sure that you protect your market. OK, so we talked about goals. We talked about selling solutions. We talked about retaining great talent, even if they're in their pajamas. And we talked about a peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, you start doing this, and 2013 is looking really, really good. However, you really don't want to reinvent the wheel again in 2014. And that's where it's important that we invest in our businesses. Um, you can build on McAfee-provided tools and, and applications to further develop great value. Um, you know that the traditional areas of, of business development, sales, marketing, lead gen. But in closing, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to leave you with one more thought-provoking action item. And I call this mom. So if I had a dollar for, for every acronym that we've heard in this business, I would be able to retire like that Texas rancher. Uh, mom stands for marketing to your manufacturers. Um, just imagine that we started portraying our benefits and our advantages as bars to McAfee. So let the McAfee team know on a regular basis, what are your business wins? Send, this, send them case studies, send them emails. Um, in turn, how about we tell McAfee who we are? What a great way of keeping our businesses top of mind with McAfee. We, again, have found, found this to be very successful. In closing, um, everything that I've talked about today, while maybe routine for some of you, I'm hoping that you've, you've, you've picked a few points uh, that the VAR board put together that you can take home. There is a handout that looks much like that on your seats. So everything that we've talked about and more is there. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, this is what the current VAR board looks like. Um, I believe there's a change coming up shortly. But uh, on behalf of uh, all of us, I thank you to my colleagues for their time, their energy. Uh, down at the bottom, where am I? Right there at the bottom, you'll see Larry Walsh and the 2012, the, the 2112 group. A big thank you for coordinating everything. And uh, Larry's got this blog 
Channelnomics. So if you're not already participating and subscribing, please make sure that you do. Um, one of the things that he does is regularly update that. Uh, so please make sure you're there. Now, if you're Googling it, it's Channelnomics, ladies and gentlemen, not Channel Comics. Uh, last but not least, where is Chance Hoover? My chance to get the lights up. Um, where is he? There we go. Thank you very much. Chance, Chance makes everyone on the VAR board look brilliant. So, you know, from the time we arrive here to the time we leave, there he is in his very godly like uh, new fresh facial hair appearance providing to our, our needs, and thank you very much for coordinating and making us look successful. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Give a nice hand to Philip DeSalza. Nicely done. Hey, thank you, Philip. Wow. Holy cow. I got to tell you something. We now have to, that was an amazing presentation. Look, you hear a guy like that with the credentials and the, pre, you, you hear him speak and you can't help but think to yourself, I have wasted my life. Yes. You, just, uh, you really have. Oh, I mean, that's accomplished a lot. Yes. Talking about team, you know, talking about team up, team up, team up. And I know what they've said it a million times in business. There's no I in team and I get it, but there's no P in bed, but sometimes it happens. It Dave. does happen. It, it does. Sometimes. Especially as you get older. You know, we have to do